Okay, now we're going to divide. This is a little scarier. But there are worse things, believe me. For instance, the method that we're using right now, dividing a polynomial by a monomial, is probably the easiest way to divide. I wish we could always use this method. Notice that all we're going to do is make three separate fractions because there are three terms in the numerator. Then we reduce. Three goes into six two times. Three goes into negative nine, negative three times. Three goes into six, two times. So we'll have two a to the four minus one. Remember, that's how you divide like bases. Negative three a to the two minus one. and 2 over a, because a is by itself in the denominator. So we have 2a to the third plus negative 3a plus 2 over a, and our final answer is 2a to the third minus 3a plus 2 over a. A. Now we're going to move on to something more challenging. We've got x squared plus 3x plus 2 and we are dividing it by a binomial. When you're dividing by a binomial or anything larger than a monomial, you have to use polynomial long division. It looks much worse than it is. The first thing you do is you ask yourself, what do you have to multiply x by in order to get x squared? And the answer is x. x, x times x is x squared. And x times 1 is x. Now draw the line and change the sign. Always do that when you're dividing. These terms have to zero out. Meanwhile, you've got 3x minus x is 2x, and bring down the next term, which is a plus 2. Now we start all over again. What do you multiply x by to get 2x? You get plus 2. So 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 1 is 2. Draw the line, change the signs, and everything zeroes out, which means that x plus 1 went evenly into x squared plus 3x plus 2. We have a zero remainder. Now, we're going to do, do a, a problem that does not have a zero remainder. We're going to divide x squared minus x minus 11 by x minus 2. So we'll do long division, x minus 2 into x squared minus x minus 11. I multiply x by x in order to get x squared and I multiply negative 2 by x because it's there. I draw the line, 
I change my signs. x squared minus x squared zeroes out, and negative x plus 2x is x. I bring down the minus 11. Now, what do I multiply x by to get x? I multiply by plus 1. And 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Draw the line, change the signs. I have a remainder this time, negative 9. Over here, the remainder was 0. But on the right, the remainder is negative 9. I have to do something special when I have a remainder. Here it is. My answer is going to be the quotient plus the remainder over the divisor. Okay, now, ever so often we run into a problem. Notice that the x squared term is missing from the numerator. x cubed plus 2x plus 5 divided by x plus 3. you got to stop. You're going to have to rewrite the numerator. We have to put in a placeholder for that missing x squared term. So x cubed plus 2x plus 5 is going to equal x cubed plus 0x squared plus 2x plus 5. That 0x squared doesn't change the value of the cubic, it just is a placeholder. A placeholder I need. So here I'm ready to do long polynomial division. I multiply x by x squared in order to get x cubed. And x squared times 3 is 3x three squared. I draw the line, I change my signs. The x cubed zero out. 0x zero squared minus 3x squared is negative 3x squared. I bring down the 2x. I start again. What do I multiply x by to get negative 3x squared? Well, negative 3x. Then negative 3x times x is negative 3x squared. Negative 3x times 3 is negative 9x. I draw the line. I change my signs. Negative 3x squared plus 3x squared is 0. And 2x plus 9x is 11x. And I bring down the plus 5. And I start again. x times 11 is 11x, and 11 times 3 is 33. Draw the line. Change my signs. I'm left with a remainder of negative 28. So my answer is x squared minus 3x plus 11 plus negative 28 
over x plus 3.